Both grandmas looking at me. Good. One, two. Good. Cocktail hour is a great time to capture as many guest pictures that you can. The first thing generally that I do during cocktail hour is I go shoot the detail and the decor. This is probably one of the best marketing things that you can do for yourself. Take pictures of the flowers, the place cards, the table cards, and share them with the other vendors that are there working at that wedding. It's really easy for you to get referrals from those people. Then I will go out and join my second shooter and shoot those cocktail candids. One of the number one complaints that brides have is there weren't enough pictures of my guests. And of course, shooting guest pictures is no fun, it's not creative. But what I do like to do during cocktail hours, which I did not do at this wedding, is I put on 70 to 200 and I walk around and I take candid headshots of guests. And I'm trying to catch them smiling, laughing, gossiping, and the couples love this. Really to getting a bunch of good ones, I sort of play a game and I try to get 15 or 20 great candid headshots. The secret is to keep moving. Smiles, one, two, and good. Another thing during cocktail hour, of course it's a great time to make up any photos yeah, that maybe okay. didn't happen before. I mean, sometimes that happens. Grandparents aren't there early, so you have to use the cocktail hour to make yeah. up that time. During the extended family photos, I usually encourage my couples to invite anybody to that hour that may not be family so that we take time to do a nice formal portrait so that when they get to the reception, I do not have to chase them around that day. Heads, tip your heads into each other a little bit, good. One of the fun things about photographing this wedding was that I got to shoot it with the A9 before the camera had come out. It's a great camera because it sort of has everything in it now. You have 24 megapixel file. I have the speed when I want it, to, so to shoot recessional or maybe dancing where anything's like fast and happening. And then I also still have the low light capabilities, the high ISOs that I can use in low light situations such as the church, during toasts when I want to be quiet and invisible as well as they've greatly improved on silent shutter. So if I really want to be invisible, I can turn the camera off. It's completely silent. So shooting the wedding with this camera was an absolute joy. It was the first time I actually used the camera, you know, in a real work situation, and it was great. Photographing a wedding for a couple is a huge responsibility. They're entrusting you to capture this once in a lifetime moment for them and images that they're gonna share and be a part of their family's history as time goes on. I think with digital these days, it takes a little bit of pressure away. I remember shooting weddings before with film and even if I went out and did an amazing job, I still had like a five day period where I had to cross my fingers and hope that nothing happened as the film went through the lab. Yes, there are things that can happen in the digital world, but at least with the instant gratification, you kind of see what you're getting and you're going along.